A lot of more women make more money mm -hmm. than men. So they use that as a weapon against the men in their position as the leaders in the household to gain control over them and to become the domineers in the family. Um, a lack of respect for each person in their perspective roles uh, mm -hmm. would cause, um, you know, a woman. And there's about three million men who um, experience mm -hmm. domestic violence each year and one in three or four women who experience that. So we are seeing an increase of domestic violence and we're here to help that you would get the tools you need to function um, as a whole family, a whole unit. And without causing all of this pain, there's so much pain. And remember what you do, your children see, they hear. Mm -hmm. And it's a repeated cycle that continues to go on throughout their lives. So we want to stop this and we want to be here to assist you and help you um, such that we can become the culture of people, the society that's functioning, that will produce great men and women in the future. Now, brother, for all the men that are out there, for, it may be a man listening right now who is being abused. And of course, he doesn't want to share that. He doesn't want to say anything to anybody. What do you say to him? Uh, I would say to him that, you know, we are living in a new day, time, and era, uh, and the Superman complex, mm -hmm. you, you have to let go of, mm -hmm. because we're all human. And brothers, if you're out there, you know, it's nothing to be ashamed of. You need to get help. Mm -hmm. You need to seek counseling, because the abuse is only going to get worse. Mm -hmm. It's not going to get better. So you have to realize within yourself that, hey, we need help. Mm -hmm. you know? and you have to take that step, stand out. You know, first pray about it, and then go and find help. Amen. Now, Miss Mary, he doesn't look like he would have taken that type of abuse. So do you have do you have anything to add to this conversation? I'm looking at his arms. He looks like he works out a little bit. So y'all have never had that situation. Am I right or right about that, Miss Mary? You're correct. <laughs> We've never had that situation. However, we do know that it can happen. We know mm -hmm. that it does happen. So uh, we do want individuals to get help. Amen. We want healthy marriages, healthy family, and marriage still is the best environment for women and children. Absolutely. We just have to make sure because God, God has ordained it that way. We just want to make sure that they're healthy because we are fallen people, and we need to reach out and get that help when it's time. Okay. What well, our two minutes left? Uh, tell us some distressors that uh, we're talking about the abuse, but what can be done? If somebody says, I do have a temper, I know that I'm stressed out, what are some distressors that they can do? One of the things that, uh, I find that is very helpful is, you know, get a regular uh, routine of uh, relaxation. Uh, that can be in the form of, you know, going to the park, exercising, to the gym, you know, mm -hmm. finding time, what we call downtime, time that you can be alone, or time that you can spend with your spouse or whatever, doing something that do not require a lot of stress. Mm -hmm. Something that you want to do, you know, pick up a hobby, anything, but start doing something, just don't let the pressure build. That's good, and for you? I would say first and foremost is, you want to recognize when your stress is heightened, mm -hmm. you know, when your frustration is heightened, and have those outlets. A lot of people don't have those outlets anymore. Mm -hmm. And if you're, don't wait to the point where you're breaking or you know it's just you or you're overwhelmed and you can't mm -hmm. do it and there is help and I know a lot of times there's a lot of um, stigmas around counseling and getting that support but oftentimes that third party can be a benefit to you and what you need and I do want to uh, acknowledge the fact that a lot of people talk about when we're talking about domestic violence you know just leave just leave but that the, that is the most dangerous time for that person is when they decide to leave so mm. a, a strategy and a plan is most important. Now why is it the most dangerous time? Because that, that person's about to lose their power and control. Mm. Okay, so that's a threat. So by, you know, by any means, they're going to keep them, especially if it's escalating, then a lot of times they say, go to your, you know, go to a family member. But you be, it depends on the level that they operate in and they have controlled, they, whether they're using physical abuse or whatever, then that's also going to put you know, family in danger mm -hmm. as well. And even when we talk about shelter, going to a shelter, you also want to take into consideration and be respectful of the fact that it has to be their choice because shelter living is different living. Yeah. And so a lot of times people are like, oh, I've told them so many times and they just don't want to do anything. 
it's a major decision. Yes, it is. And so get offering that person the encouraging the support in order to make the best decision and healthy decision for her and her family. Absolutely. Now, for someone who wants counseling and they want your services, how can they contact you all? They may contact us at 832-586-8222. And just remember, domestic violence is a crime, and we need our families intact and not in jail. Make sure you get your physical um, examinations each year because a lot of times it can be an underlying um, medical condition that could be causing a lot of your frustration. Now, you just said something there. Now, that's the truth because I was frustrated today, but I think it's the change. I don't know. Because I, I did. She said something to me. I mean, Amber said something. I'm like, girl, I'll tell her. About. So, you helped me. Thank you. This is. God bless you. We will be talking to you guys again this yes. month, next month. Yes, All right? Yes, yes. So, we appreciate you so much. And can you get that number one more time? That number is 832 586 8222. And we are here to help you. All right, we thank you so much. We'll be back after this break. Thank you, Sister. Hello, this is Chris.